look this is our uh, splenus anterior muscle okay dr ad can you see this can you unmute yourself uh, i will not understand if you cannot communicate please if you are understanding or not all right let me just show you this okay so <clears throat> this is our uh, splenus anterior muscle right and behind the splenus anterior you can have this splenus medius and behind that you can have this splenus posterior so these are the three muscles now you have to know the very important things what are the structure that will run behind those things right so first of all let's see if i can show you <clears throat> the brachial plexus okay see the roots the roots of the brachial plexus is passing behind what the splenus anterior and the splenus medius right is it clear please uh, yes, give sir. me some reply yes, otherwise sir. i i, yes, I will not yes, understand yes, all right yes. okay next very yes. important what else what else see there is some subclavian artery yes. remember yes. subclavian artery yes. remember okay what else yes. anything yes. okay anything else in between that <laughs> no subclavian vein anterior. is anterior to the anterior to the front of the yes. anterior yes. anterior i think all of you are thinking why why the 3d models is not in the part a right so it will be very easy for all of you i guess <laughs> okay so now yeah it's now clear for all of you see yes how how this will uh, go and how this transmits so in between the sclenus anterior and the medius we are going to have the sclenus uh, sorry the subclavian artery and the roots of the brachial plexus right okay now the questions how many um, what are the roots what are the roots of the brachial plexus do you know what are the roots 7 and 5 to 3 5 to 5 6 7 8 and t1 okay t1 t1 okay so now they are going to ask uh, where are the parts of the brachial plexus to be found right where are the parts so the roots it exits via the intervertebral foramen between the sclenus anterior and the sclenus medius muscle and sclenus medius okay clear is it clear yes yes sir about the roots okay yes. next the yeah. roots will the roots will be formed into what the trunks remember trunk okay yes now yes. sorry okay now the trunks where you can found the trunks then behind the clavicle middle portion of the clavicle mm -hmm. behind It's the lateral one third of the clavicle superior related to the okay if the you can see posterior it, triangle let me yes 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 let me just try to let me just try to uh, show you more clearly okay now we got the roots right we got the roots we got the roots already done right next we are going to have the trunk so trunk. these are the trunk so the trunk will be situated in the posterior triangle of the neck that's the first thing okay where we are going yeah. to found that in the posterior triangle of the neck and it is related to what the subclavian artery right subclavian this is the subclavian artery. artery the sub it will be superior to the subclavian artery right yes okay so the, uh, how many trunks are there Three. 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 Yes. So if I can show, three. yes. If you can see this, there are three, right? One, two, mm. and three. Okay. The upper and the middle trunk. These two they are related. related. Yes, superiorly they are they are related superiorly <laughs> to the subclavian <laughs> artery. Whereas the lower trunk, it it is related to the inferiorly. to the subclavian artery subclavian artery clear 
So where yes, you can sir. found those trunk in the posterior triangle and how those are related, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. fantastic guys. Bear with me. We are talking very, very important. And now after the trunk, what are the, what are the uh, parts? Division. Oh. Division, yes. Mm. Division, okay. So see, this is the rib, right? This is the rib. Okay. After the rib, you're going to have this division. Where you can find those? Behind the middle, middle third of clavicle. Behind the middle third of clavicle. I have hide the clavicle here. Okay. So you can see in this picture. In this picture, is it clear? This is behind. This is behind. Posterior. This is posterior to the middle one third of the clavicle, the divisions. Clear? Now, after the divisions, what are the parts? The cords? Cords. cords. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me about the course or what are the branches of the subclavian artery? Mm -hmm. Part, part, second part, part. Artery. Okay. Yes. Subclavian artery thoracic. will. Yeah. The subclavian artery will um, be continuing as what artery? Axillary. Axillary artery. Axillary artery. Okay. Sorry. No. No. Who said no? Um, yes. Why say you said no? This is the subclavian artery, is the continuation as a axillary artery, simple. Axillary artery. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. And how, how many parts do you have in the axillary artery? Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Okay. Minor divides. Mm -hmm. And tennis minor, tennis minor muscle divides. The yes, it is divided. Parts, yes. Parts. Very nice. Yes. Very nice, Rifat Bhai. Second part behind. Second part. Yes, first part, second part, and third part. And yes. after the third, third part. part. Very nice. Okay. So we were talking about the cords, right? So the cords you can find just behind which part? Second part. Second part. Yes. The second part of the, I have to uh, hide some muscles so you can see this. Okay. I have to hide some other muscles as well. Let me just hide this. Okay. Now you can see the cords you can find it is related to the second part of the axillary artery inside of the, the axilla. Clear? Now, yes. if they ask, where are the parts of the brachial plexus to be found? Can you tell? The roots, the trunks, the divisions, the cords. What else? What we didn't talk about is the terminal branches, branches. right? Okay, so of course the terminal branches will be related with what? The third part of the axillary artery, right? Yeah. This is the third part. Yes. And this is, these are related with the third part of the axillary artery, very simple. Okay, the roots, trunks, division scores, and terminal branches. Is it clear for all of you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good, very nice. Very nice, guys. All right, now, we have to talk about a very, very important topic, which is, um, which is what? Which is herbs palsy, okay? Herbs palsy. We have to talk about the clumpkis palsy. We have to talk about the thoracic outlet syndrome. Okay, I know all of you has the previous um, experiences or previous things in your head about those things, but I will try to tell you in a different way so that you can not uh, forget you don't, you don't forget anymore. Okay. <clears throat> if I want to say about the um, 